Ashley from Girls Who Code, here with step two of part three in the Never Refuse to Reuse scheme. Now that we have created a falling melt carton, we need to move our carton back up to the top of the stage once it reaches the bottom. In this step, we'll utilize a conditional statement to move the falling melt carton back to the top of the stage. Remember, you can code along with the video or watch it first, then add your code using the to-do list under the video. In order to move our melt carton back to the top of the stage, we need a conditional statement. As a refresher, a conditional is used to determine whether a certain condition is met before the code within the conditional is executed. Right now, our program is changing our y value of the melt carton by negative five until it reaches the bottom of the screen. Now, we need to tell our milk sprite what to do once it reaches the bottom of the stage. Remember, the bottom of the stage is a y value of negative 180. So for our condition, we can say if our y value is equal to negative 180, then we will move the milk sprite back to the top of the screen. Let's start by grabbing our conditional statement block from the control tab. Grab an if then statement block. Drag the conditional statement inside of the forever loop and place it below the change y by negative five block. Let's set the condition for our statement. Go to the operators tab and grab an equals block. Place this block inside of the condition of the if then statement. In the first part of this block, add a y position block. This block reads the y position of the sprite. You can find this block in the motion tab. Let's set the y position in our condition equal to negative 180. Now, to move the milk sprite back to the top of the screen, we will do exactly what we did at the start of the program. Let's start by moving our milk sprite to a random position. Grab a go to random position block from the motion tab and place it within the conditional statement. Next, to move our milk carton back to the top of the stage, set the y value to positive 180. Grab a set y2 block from the motion tab and attach it to the go to random position block. Type 180 into the input part of the block. Although a conditional statement isn't new to us, let's take a look at how a conditional works when it is inside of a forever loop. Code is read and run from top to bottom. So the first thing that will happen is the y value will decrease by five. Next, the program will read the conditional and ask, is the y value equal to negative 180? Since the y value is not equal to negative 180 after moving the initial value down by five, it will skip the code within the conditional statement then go back to the top of the forever loop and repeat this process again. The program will continue to decrease the y value by five and then check to see if the y value is equal to negative 180 over and over until the y value finally does reach a value of negative 180. When this happens, the code within the conditional statement will run and the carton will move back up to the top of the screen. Since all of this code is wrapped inside of a forever loop, the carton will fall and move back to the top of the screen continuously until the red stop sign is pressed. Pause the video and run your program to see if the melt carton moves back to the top of the stage once it reaches the bottom. Ta-da! Now your melt carton moves back to the top of the stage after it reaches the bottom. Before we move on to the next part, let's add in a few comments to our code. As a reminder, a comment will not change the way our program runs, it will just add a message to help make our code easier for ourselves and others to read. To add a code comment, right click on the block you want to add a comment to. Let's right click the block, change y by negative five. Select add comment. We can type a message in this space that will tell the users of our program and ourselves what our code does. In this comment, let's add, this block wrapped inside of a forever loop programs the milk carton to fall to the bottom of the stage. Next. Let's right click the conditional if then statement and click add comment. For this section of code, let's add a comment that says, this conditional statement resets the carton back to the top of the stage once it hits the ground. You can drag these comments around to move them to different positions. That's it for step two. In the next part, we'll learn how to catch the milk carton. 